Hi everybody, this is Bikyong. Today we're gonna do an upgrade for VMware View 4.6 to VMware View 5.0, which is just released today. Before we begin, I just want to show you that we are actually connected to a VMware View Manager 4.6. Alright, it's on the local host. I'm just gonna log out. Before we proceed with the upgrade, we'll assume that you have already done the proper backup all right, of the view manager server and you are supposed to refer to the VMware view upgrade guide uh, which I'll be posting this in my blog. Okay, first and foremost, if you have more than one view connection manager or the view manager in the same group, you are supposed to stop all the services for the VMware View Connection Server Service. Here, I only have one View Server, View Connection Server, so I'm just going to stop this one. If you have more than one, you have to stop all of them for these services. Reason for doing so is to prevent corruption of the LDAP data during the upgrade. And the other service that is required to be on will be the VMware VDMDS. This service has to be remain started so that during the upgrade, the LDAP can be accessed to be upgraded. So for view 5.0, this is the binary. It's a 64-bit binary here because I'm running a 64-bit OS. I'm just going to double click it. It's an in-place upgrade, so we'll be going through the whole wizard. I've not done this before, so we'll be going through this together. Okay, based on the upgrade guide, each server will take about 15 to an hour to be completed. So, if during the installation, um, certain tasks will take pretty a while, I might just cut short the video. However, I will still mention the total time taken. Here we go. Click next for the agreement of license and accept this. And next again. I'll leave it as default path and here we go. Alright, the installation for the view manager is actually completed. Uh, as mentioned in the upgrade guide, after the upgrade, the services should be auto turned on by itself. Just like what uh, happens in vSphere 5 vCenter server. So here you can see the view connection 
server service is actually started. We don't have to manually start it. Right now, we will actually log in to the admin console. Do you know that the web browser supported is for Firefox 3.5 and 3.6, that's what we turned, and Internet Explorer 7, 8, and 9. Here I'm using Firefox uh, version 6 and it still works, so... This is the upgrade version and click about we will see that it's already upgraded to 5.0 for the view manager. Okay, this is the VMware view administrator. Okay, um, you can see that uh, the license has no longer been valid because in View 5.0, they have a change of license, so you have to apply a new license. All license from 4.6 and below cannot be used. Okay, um, I actually entered my Vail license here, and you can see that my View Composer license is enabled and my Local Mode license is also enabled. Okay. Um, and one of the steps we have to do here is to connect to the view desktop. Okay, I'm just going to test this out. And I'm going to pause this video and um, put it to my uh, view client. Okay, here you can see I have a view client here. And I'm just going to double click and uh, do an in-place upgrade for my client we leave this as it is uh, blank and we can enter this later okay just gonna click mix all the way until this is completed um, and we will install this all right here you can see it's actually completing the installation Okay, it's completed. It's asking me to do a restart. Uh, okay, now we have actually co um, connected to the new view manager or the connection server 5 using the view 5 client. And same thing, we will be using PC over IP. I'm going to connect to a small window so that we can see this. just to make sure we are able to connect into the workstation this means that the V composer is working well with the view manager however we have not upgraded the view composer this will do this in another video part by part okay this will be the per first part so after which if you have more than one connection server you are supposed to stop the service on the one you just upgraded as well for the connection server service and stop for the next one that you're going to upgrade and do the same thing after upgrade check and log into the desktop to make sure it's working and same thing stop again and proceed to the next one until you are done with all the connection server. That marks the end of upgrading the view connection server or the view manager. Okay, now we are at the security server. Same thing, we have to stop the service. Here, we will stop the view security server service. After we stop the service, we will start the installation to upgrade 
the view security server. If it is more than one instance, you will have to apply the same thing you done for the view manager. After the upgrade, the view security server service should be back running on its own without us have to turn it on. Alright, the installation is started. Okay, do take note that you will still have to do the normal backup before doing the in place upgrade. Okay, here we accept the license and click next. So after the upgrade, we will still have to go back to the view manager admin console to just to make sure that there's no multiple entry in the admin console. This happens because the new view 5 security server actually use a new pairing mechanism and might do a duplicate. So yeah. Okay, we're gonna just click next. Leaving all the default setting as per the same. So we're gonna do a pairing. I'm just gonna enter and okay. Here we need to go to the admin console to set a pairing password. Okay, here we have to click on the connection server and uh, do a pairing password setting. Expire in 30 minutes and we click OK. Then we'll go back to the security server. Okay, here we are back to the security server. We're just going to click next. This time it shall go through and I'm just gonna click next on this, uh, do it automatically and do on the default path and we'll do the install. Alright, it's done. And we're gonna go back to the service and just to make sure that it's actually started. And after a refresh, it's actually started. Now, back at the view administrator console, we will actually do a refresh to make sure that the security server does not have duplicate entry and as well as the version is has been updated to 5.0 once this is done this marks the end of the upgrade of the security server